let me ask you something. Do you like playing as a PMC? Really think about it for a second. The, the answer is no, it, it's no. If only there was a magic little button you could press to just play the game. In this series, we set out to see how far we could progress with only scavs. Welcome to Scav Only Tarkov. Welcome back to Scav Only Tarkov. In this episode, we had to deal with some of the worst grinds yet due to the restrictions of the challenge. We made some great progress this episode though, and we hope you enjoy. For returning and new players, on screen now is a very condensed version of the rules of the challenge. If you've not seen episode one where I cover the rules in detail, I strongly encourage you to go back and watch that section or go into the description below to see a full write-up of the rule set. To recap, last episode ended with Boomer and I both at level 7, with 7 main quests completed each. We've reached a point in this challenge where almost everything we do requires a PMC raid, so I want to take the time to restate the PMC rules in detail. We only run PMCs when there are literally no quests available to us that can be done as scavs. Even though we are technically running PMCs, we are under heavy restrictions. Every single kit we use is a scav kit. We enter a scav raid and extract without using anything. That kit then goes on to our PMC as is without any additions or takeaways besides keys when we need them. Speaking of keys, if you watched episode 1 you would know that we deleted our gammas. So every key is only one attempt at a quest. We don't keep anything in between raids. After each raid as a PMC we treat our equipment the same way our scav kits are treated in the rules. Everything is sold off and if it can't be sold it is deleted. For all intents and purposes, we are Scavs. We hope you enjoy this episode of Scav Only Tarkov, and as always, thank you for watching. Are you ready, dude? This is the first raid of episode three. Good talk, man. I really like how you responded to the thing I just said. <laughs> okay. It's so dark. Are you ready? I have not heard anything you said for the past 30 seconds because I was not. In my I computer. assumed that. The good thing about this raid is I'm just going to shoot whoever I see immediately. Two seconds later. It's a coal pack. Level two face visor helmet right in front. Yep, I see it. They're just standing there. Shoot. This game is so garbage. Got him. Well, if he decides to move as soon as I take the shot. You know, as you become more and more famous, I'm going to get just worse and worse computers. <laughs> is on purpose coming here? This is different than it used to be. That's weird. Grab the document under the jacket. All right. We We're actually already kind of almost all the way there. Let's just roll, dude. Roll? Yeah, let's roll, dude. Yeah, let's get this fucking quest over with. Did you like that bit? Could... End of the street. Yeah. Dead. Good shot. I'm such a fucking god at this game. I know, right? Look at that big foul in your hands. That big phallic. Cool. Well, that was easy. Oh, what I wanted to do that. Easy game. Easy challenge. Yeah, dude, this game is so stupid easy. First raid of the episode, and a quest down already. Hopes were high, and while this luck would not hold for long, we pressed on. Next, our sights were set on woods for the first time this episode. We had a quest to kill 15 scavs on woods, and we also needed to locate both the USEC camp and Prep Wars convoy. We set out to attempt those. I mean, this is kind of where we want to be because of the convoy and the USEC camp. Right in front, right in front! Oh, 
Oh, I don't see anybody, dog. He's in the. Gr he's laying prone on the ground. He's dead. I'm, I'm... He's good. He's dead. I was gonna say I was flanking, but nice shot. What level is this idiot? Twenty-eight. Imagine getting killed by a guy who's level seven with a scab kit. Right. Holy shit. That's the USEC camp right ahead of us, isn't it? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, one of one of them. They're right next to each other, though. Uh, are there mines on the hill leading up to it? 110%. This is exactly where I blew my neck out. <laughs> blew my neck out. <laughs> Alright, well, I have a morphine, so let me go up first. I'm going to take the rocks. I don't think they would put mines on rocks, right? That's exactly the path I went. I told, really? I told Brendan and Curdy to follow me, and I stepped onto two mines and killed myself. <laughs> uh, I'm going for it. Do it, Brace dude. yourself. Yeah, we're good. There's no way. Ah, mine! Mine! <laughs> dude, I <laughs> told you! <laughs> I'm just going. I'm going. I'm at the camp. I'm gonna turn my volume down oh, to zero man. and sprint forward. You ready? Here it goes. <laughs> Called it. Yes, good game. Did you hit it? <laughs> Fucking massive explosion, dude. In front? I don't see anything I'm prone. Is it a player? Got him. Is it a player? I I don't know, but he's dead now. Just stand there and let you shoot him. Oh, there's a scav at checkpoint right here. I'm taking shots. I just headshotted him. Oh my god. Nice dude. <laughs> Wait, did I actually headshot that idiot? I did. Wow. This guy I'm was just armed to the teeth. Idiot. What a loser, dude. <laughs> did that idiot really just stand there and let you shoot him? Uh, he, he didn't stand there. Are you coming up on me? Yeah, yeah I'm right behind okay. you. Dude, this guy was loaded to the teeth. What a loser. Oh, we're stacked, bro. All we gotta do is get the fuck out of here. Probably gonna die immediately as soon as we leave this shack. Uh, alright, dude. Let's Ready? Uh, get her done. Let's get her done indeed. Right in front! Whoa! Oh, I'm hit hard. You weren't kidding, dude. Are you in charge of this? Turn it off. Get to shut this off. Shut them all off. Turn your lights in your house off, too. Oh, you, you <laughs> I'm me. dead. Yeah, me too. That was you not... said we're going to die immediately. <laughs> that was not did. the gun to be using. We just got killed by a player scav. Dude, that guy got all the loot in the game. Oh my god. You were like, <laughs> you were like, we're gonna die immediately. And I was like, no, we're fine. And then we died immediately. Well, I leveled up to eight, so I guess that was worth it. You did? Nice. Damn. It was about this time that we ran into the first issue we had with this episode. Boomer had just hit level eight, and I had not. This might not seem significant at first, but at level eight, you unlock two quests Sanitary Standards, part two, where therapist wants two gas analyzers and what's in the drive, where Skier wants two secured flash drives. The problem here is that Boomer now has two scav quests, so he cannot continue to PMC raid. But I have zero scav quests, so I have to continue to PMC raid. The compromise we came up with was I would embark on a solo PMC raid to level to eight so we could continue together. Conveniently, I had the Jaeger quest unprotected but dangerous. This quest is to kill five scavs on woods without body armor, and my next scav kit didn't include any, so I quickly ran to woods to try and complete the quest, which, thankfully, I did in one try. That was almost really bad. Jesus. Jesus Christ.
From here, I reached level 8, and everything worked out perfect. We first tried every quest, and never had any other issues with the challenge ever again. Okay, not exactly. Gas analyzers are not too tough when you know where to look for them, but you often have to try multiple times, especially if you're scabbing. Flash drives are where things get tricky. If there's a memo going around on where to find those consistently, Boomer and I missed it. We realized after a few days that because of our conflicting schedules outside of the channel, if we only search for the items when we're together, this video would have been delayed way longer than it already was. So just for a short while longer, we had to run solo. By running scavs solo whenever we could fit them in on our own, we were able to go from 5 to 8 runs a day together to 10 to 20 to 25 solo raids throughout the day. Don't worry, we didn't have to split up again after this, but for the next minute or two, here's a clip of us individually finding our quest items before we met back up. Oh my god, the gas an. Throw this garbage trash on the ground. Excellent. Oh boy, wouldn't you know it. The gas analyzer. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. The flash drive. Done. I'm out of here. The last set before I gotta go. Last drive? Holy dumb fuck! Okay. Okay. Oh my god. It's over. It's over. The back to back. He can't be stopped! Bunker Hermetic. Hole in the wall by the mountains. Okay, so are you ready to turn these puppies in? For context, for those of you out there on the internet, uh, it, it took us three days of grinding separately to make it happen. Yeah. So we haven't spoken to each other in a few days. <laughs> but uh, I'm ready to turn in. Are you ready to turn in? Oh, I'm ready to turn in, dude. I've been I'm ready. doing it. Complete sanitary standards. Love it. Oh, what's this? Painkiller? Oh, I've already got the morphines. Okay. Turn in. Complete. Wait. Oh, so do I. Okay. Turn Love in. It. Nice. Okay, nothing, nothing else there. So let's okay. head over to Skier. Useless old bitch. What's on, <laughs> what's on the flash drive? <laughs> it complete. <clears throat> and we got golden swag. What's on the flash drive? All my foot pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Skier, be careful. This is my Belle Delphine collection. Golden swag. Dude, that is the golden collection right there. Yeah, it is. Oh. Alright. This is my only dorm 206 key. So we have to do this in one try. <clears throat> so I should as long as back the head. Yes. As long as we just walk into the room, we're good. We can die. It's fine. We just gotta walk into the room and we can survive a different raid. Alright. Sounds like so a tall you, order. Essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna W key like an absolute bot to the top of the stairs and just stand still in the middle of the hallway. And if you die, then I will run away and I will extract and we'll try again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should. It's probably a good idea. To the left. I think we're clear. Just rush it. We got to rush it, dude. We can't take wait, our wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. Got to go. Somebody's running outside. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go, go. Don't block me. Go. Dude, I have no Check sprint. the hallway. Is the hallway clear? All right, no, I'm opening the door. I'm not dead. Yeah, I'll cover <laughs> stairs. I right, get inside. Got it. We did Excellent it. Okay. Game. An enemy combatant. 
Is it there? And it's there. Engage. Is it there? It's there. Excellent game. This game is so easy. Can't believe I'm playing it. With Operation Aquarius Part 1 complete, I reached level 10. Boomer was just shy of level 10 on his end, but luckily he had a time quest he could complete to give Mechanic a capacitor, which pushed him over the edge to level 10. At this point, we are officially two thirds of the way to our goal. Quick reminder, our goal is level 15, which unlocks the flea market. From here, we were a little conflicted on how to proceed. The only quests that really seemed doable at the time we were recording was 15 scavs on woods, Propor's convoy, and 15 scavs on customs. Since we had two for woods and one for customs, we decided to start grinding woods. If you remember me saying earlier in this episode that our luck didn't hold out, this is exactly what I was talking about. We did a lot of woods raids, and we died in almost all of them. Woods just wasn't showing us any love. Have a look. Figured I would play oh my by your dude. Uh, to, to the right, to the right. There's there's a guy on the. What? We should we should just run. There's a guy over Where here on the he? rock. Like a player? Yes, hundred percent. We should go this way. Okay, go. Lead it. Those are crystal clear, perfect comms, by the way. Yeah. I oh know my god. Were. Oh my god. There's a guy on the uh on the rock. <laughs> I just like I saw him leaning and like I was like I'm dead. I need to get this word out now. I like how you were you were drip feeding me the context of what you were trying to say like one word at a time. Right. Probably didn't take the shot because he didn't want to give away his position. Fuck That's up. how you know we're like trained professionals. When That's I was so in the Marines good. and I saw I saw a Taliban guy, a sniper on the roof, the first thing I said was, Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh my god. He's like right there. <laughs> He's like right there. And they were like a guy and a hundred percent, let's go this way. <laughs> That's probably the worst way to be going. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a guy. <laughs> Fucking esports level call outs. Left in front, side! In front. He killed us both. Dude, I lit him up, dog. He was a Chad. How much damage did you do? I did uh, 212 to body, 220 to armor. Uh, shot 14, hit 10. Nice. I shot one and I missed. <laughs> nice. Sure. Yeah. I don't see him. My graphics are like either. minimum. Like all of my graphic settings are as low as they go, so. Really? Yeah. I can't see Good. anything. I don't see him and he's not shooting at me. Oh fuck! I'm dead. He killed you? Yep, he's directly in front, like crouched by a tree. <sighs> yeah, he hit me. I should probably check my tasks. Oh my god, there's no way he didn't die. I'm shooting I'm shooting turkey rounds, dude. I know I can't aim, but still, like. I was fucking standing still. I am dead. Good game. Here's the dead scav. This is where the mine Oh my god, there's a mine on his body. Are you joking? Yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you, dog. That there's mines on his body. Oh jeez. That was definitely worth the bolts. You... I'm actually not even I that hurt. The perfect. I, I no, my legs are actually perfectly fine. Oh, another mine and killed oh me. My god, <laughs> oh my god. So terrifying. You're dead? <laughs> I would say the mine killed me. Since Woods was a one-way ticket to the land of pain and suffering, we decided to put a pin in it for now. There was still that customs quest that I mentioned earlier, and I'm not sure if it's because we know customs better or the lobbies were easier, but when we switched to customs, we had a much smoother time. The quest we're going for here is Operation Aquarius Part 2. This quest tasks us with killing 15 scavs on customs for therapist. We still took some deaths here and there, but overall this was a much more productive use of our time. If I'm being honest, when reviewing all of this footage, I realized that there's 30 individual kills I needed to account for, and I couldn't think of a very creative or funny way to edit them. So, here's a quick supercut of every single one of them. Oh, I see him. 
dead. This guy keeps moving. You got him? Uh oh. Get behind. Oh my god, grenade! Watch out! <laughs> oh, we're good. Damn. Killed him. Oh, right here? I hear the scow. Whoa! Shooting at me. He's dead. Even a minute. There's no point in trying to get all the way to the extract. And then I have a couple of meetings. I might be able to run a few more later, though. I killed two is more over you here. Shooting? Yeah, I killed two more over here, dude. This is where the scabs are. How is he not dead? Please, please okay, kill got him. him. Got him. <laughs> what? You're in my way. You're in my way. You're so lucky I didn't shoot you in the back just now. Dude, the shotgun is OP for killing scabs, dog. I've lined before. I'm pretty sure it's a player. Whoa! To, to your right, to your right. Jeez. Can you see him? One's dead. Tagged, but he's not dead. There's one in the front, too. Dead. 100%. Just killed him. Good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, right in front, right in front. I see him. Take the sh He's dead. Oh, nice shot, dude. <laughs> dude, we, we better go. Take the shot! <laughs> I was about to say shoot him because I had him in my sights, but I wasn't trusting the buck at that range. Joking. Why won't he die? Oh, Here, my God. Just, just. Ah! Hole in the wall, where we came from. Did, was that you that just shot me? Did I shoot you? Barely, it's a pack. I'll go first. Hoist. I'm gonna go around the. I'm gonna go around Oy the right vey, side I'll go first. Container. I'm gonna go first, Bubby. Bubby, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Jewish. It's <laughs> hilarious, dude. In inside, inside. He's dead. You fucker! I was about to shoot him. Sorry, gotta be quicker than that. He's on the corner. Be careful. Get him. I'm coming. I see him. Station. He's out front. He just shot me in the face. Oh my god, I killed him. I'm such a goat. He was a level 44, dude. What a chump. Imagine. Dude, it's a shooting gallery over here. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, what? Did you get yours first? I just need two, dude. Yeah, I, so you take I the lead. I need two more. Cross over to the porta potty. See what you can uh, see what you can muster up. You think so? That there uh, sniper there. Oh, oh, how many hold here? I got the old uh, snipey. <laughs> what have we got the, uh, on the old horizon? Better be careful there, neighbor. I'm gonna put a 308 through your skull there. Oh, I know he's moving. Stop moving. Where? Got you him, got dude. Him? I'm such a goat. Be really careful. Where did he go? Don't run away from me! Got him. It's over. What a gamer. It's all you, dude. One dead? Oh, he's right. He's like right here somewhere. Oh. Please really? Kill him. Dead. Nice. <laughs> Do you need me to kill him? No, I got him. All right. Dead. Yeah, dude. They're everywhere over here, man. Wait, is that him right there? Yeah, it is. And the way he just... He's dead. <laughs> okay, never mind. Definitely not a real player. Watch down at the very, very end. Dead. How many are there? Hang on, I'll kill him. Dead. Nice. There's a scab dying in there. Okay, he's dead. That's one. 
One more. Oh, he got me with a headshot, dude. On the last one, he killed me. Really? I only needed one more and he got me. You better, you better get this kill, dog. Stop. Knock on some wood, dude. Don't jinx me. This is, this is probably fucking plywood. So it's not even real wood. It's fucking pressed particle board. <laughs> <laughs> I bought out of China for $30. Probably has lead and arsenic in it. Pressed particle board? <laughs> pressed particle board, yeah. Did you just you make that, that up or is that a real thing? No, it's definitely a real thing. Got him. Quest done. Nice. And my gun jammed! Are you kidding me? <laughs> my gun jammed on the one bullet, dude. Toasted. 30 scavs down on customs and we could finally turn in Operation Aquarius Part 2. With this quest done, Boomer was already level 11, and all I had to do was a time quest to get to level 11 myself. At first we felt like this was a good place to stop the episode, but there was one quest that we've been intentionally ignoring this whole time and we decided, let's just go for it. Delivery from the past is a quest from Papur that requires two raids. First, you need to go to Big Red on customs. Luckily, I had about six copies of the key from collecting them throughout this challenge. After you collect the quest item on customs, you extract, and then you need to queue into factory and plant that quest item in a small shack. This means we needed to get a scav kit, get the big red quest item, ditch that scav kit, get another scav kit, and go to factory. This is why we were avoiding it, but you never know if you can succeed until you try. <laughs> it sounded like Duke Nukem. Oh, we're at big red. I'll rip off Not your head wanted, and shit down your neck. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. <laughs> do you remember that ventrilo hey, thing? Bag. I've got five fingers with your name on it. <laughs> do you remember that ventrilo meme from way back in the day? Oh my god, dude. What a I've meme. Got balls, 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 balls of steel. What a classical meme. I'm going out. I have up. a gun. My gun fell Good. out of my hands. <laughs> I went to reload and just the fucking gun fell apart. Breaching now. I didn't hear that at all from down here. Weird. Very. Right, I got very the uh, I got the item. I'm gonna switch spots with you now. It's possible. Is Brooke calling me? Holy fuck. Where she is. Hey babe. Hey Jamie. How was school? Gav. Oh fuck, I don't know where he is. To the right, to the right. Watch out. There's one right in front of me. I think I killed him. Whew. You need to get over here, dude. I'm, I'm just pushing the... Uh... It's okay, I killed him. I'm running. Okay, let's just get into the, the bunker. Yep. For good measure. All right. Oh man, that was intense. That was a rough one. Holy Let's do boy. it, dude. This <sighs> is where we wanted to be. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna leave this out and pretend it never happened and just cut to us actually completing the quest. But when I was reviewing the footage for this video, it reminded me of something that happened in an old video of ours. Our longtime viewers might remember Boomer and Doomer play Win Back. I'm gonna show you a clip from that video and then play the rest of this clip. After extensive professional analysis, it's been found that there are actually no differences between these two clips. This is another cue to his spatial awareness. Watch how he just peels out. He just rolls out without checking his blind spot. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Terrorist win! <laughs> 
right in front. Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead as well. This game's good. <laughs> oh, oh, go, go. This is it. Oh my god, this couldn't be better. Doing it both at the same time, yeah? Just crouch and start placing. Just go. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Go, go, go. Doing it. Eight, seven. I'm at four seconds uh. left. Just go. Oh my god, go. We, did, we did it. We did it. Three, two, done. One. Let's yeah, get dude. the fuck out of here, oh, dude. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Open the door. Get the door. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, fucking inertia. Uh, we did it. We're a couple oh, of gamers. Inertia. Awesome gamer. Oh, oh dude, that's it. man. <laughs> that was the one. That was the one. Oh. And that's where we left off. At this point, Boomer's level 11 with 14 completed quests. I'm also level 11, but I have 15 completed quests. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of Scavenly Tarkov, and we look forward to bringing you the rest of the series very soon. As always, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you liked anything you saw, don't forget to leave a like. You can also join our Discord community to call us shitters and tell us we're bad. See you guys real soon.